Hundreds of Tucsonans on the southwest side without power tonight in this brutal heat that we've been experiencing and they still have no air conditioning. Yeah, it's hard to imagine a Tucson electric power crews. They're still working though to restore power to everyone after storms knocked down several power poles last night. And News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live at a cooling center on the south side with the latest on how people are holding up as they wait for their lights to come back on. Eric. Monica Sean, the Red Cross and Pima County teaming up to open this cooling center here at Valencia Middle School. It's in the school gym. It will be open all night for anyone who doesn't have power. And of course, that means their homes have no AC. Monsoon rolled in Sunday night with it. Strong rain and wind knocking down three dozen power poles on the southwest side. More than a thousand customers woke up in the dark. As of this afternoon, longtime Tucson homeowner Linda Gibson had no power and, of course, no air conditioning on a day that was again well over 100 degrees. I can't go get ice for my stuff in my refrigerator and freezer. I, we're not going to be, I mean, even if we could get out with a four wheel drive, I can't even afford to go stay at, at a hotel because I have my dogs and my cats and I can't just leave them here. This woman in a similar situation. So we're just going to have to bear it with the heat and it's hard because it's hot. With so many poles knocked down, TEP crews have relentlessly continued to work in this heat to restore much of the power as soon as possible. Meantime, TEP set up an ice station for people at the AVA Amphitheater. The power company spokesman telling News 4 Tucson, TEP prepares for monsoon and this treacherous summer heat, but they can't anticipate how or when storms will do damage and knock out power. We have uh, various programs in place to inspect our equipment, to replace power poles, to upgrade uh, service for customers. Um, but, you know, it, it really is a challenge because what we're dealing with here is Mother Nature. We're really dealing with acts of God. And in that case, there's no predicting where damage could occur or how it might damage our equipment. And moments ago, I checked back in with TEP right now at this 10 o'clock hour. There are about 280 TEP customers in this part of town still without power. And if you need a shelter, if you need a place to go, come on down here to Valencia Middle School, the school gym. They have cots, water, and everything you need. We just learned a moment ago that one couple, at least one couple, will be spending the night. That, uh, that shelter is here 4400 West Irvington Road. We're live tonight here on the South Side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you. <laughs>